Australia is a global deforestation hotspot and the bushfires killed hundreds of millions of trees. We have to do everything we can to help grow more forests. That's why we need to innovate, such as with drones, to help grow more forests more quickly. The seeds process is a four-step process. And it's understanding the ground, understanding the soil, and understanding what species we should be planting in what locations. And we do that with drones and with science. Second phase is manufacturing seed pods. And the seed pod is the delivery vessel that carries the seeds from the drones into the ground. The third stage is planting. So that's the big drones that fly autonomously. They're out there planting different types of seeds. And then the fourth phase is probably one of the most important phases, and that's monitoring and what we call proactive protection. Once we've planted, it's getting out there, flying the drones, using AI to identify species that have been successful in establishing, and then being involved in that project for X amount of time post-planting to ensure its success. The drone that we've been using today, it can plant up to 40,000 seed pods per day in an eight-hour working shift. So it's around about 10 minutes of flight time to plant up to 1,000 seed pods. Having the opportunity to get out there in scale and really start making a difference within a six week period post bushfire is a really important thing. Terrain is sometimes difficult for people to get to. The drones obviously can tackle that problem with no issue. So really giving access to people to get out there and start restoring lands much faster and much cheaper. We don't believe that this technology is going to replace manual planting. That's always going to be part of the solution, but it is going to be a tool in the arsenal to combat biodiversity loss and climate change. A very big thank you to the thousands of people around the world who donated to the Australian Wildlife and Nature Recovery Fund that is allowing us to trial the use of drones to create more habitat for koalas and wildlife.